This video is sponsored by Guapkey. If you're looking for a reliable modded GTA account for PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then this is the place to go. The link is in the description below. Guapkey have very kindly provided me with a modded GTA account for Xbox One to give away to one of my subscribers. The account is rank 120 and it has 123 million dollars on it. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and then send me a screenshot on Instagram showing that you've liked this video and subscribed and you'll be entered. A winner will be picked at random on Friday the 27th of November at 3pm UK time. Good luck everyone and enjoy the video. Mate, why is it putting me back to story mode, mate? I did, did, when did I say I wanted to play story mode? I'm trying to play online. Time's out. Yeah, that's fine, but can't you put me in another online lobby? Why does it have to put me in story mode? Finally, fucking loading screens for like half an hour only put me in a game of my own. Oh well. This game is getting ridiculous with the loading times though. Like, times me out, puts me back to story mode. Firstly, I don't get why I need to do that. Like, I'm trying to play GTA Online, not story mode. I don't want to play that. And times me out, go back to story mode, load back in online. Literally took me there like 17 minutes. To load in a lobby with nobody in it, like, come on. Alright, so firstly, I'm just gonna head over to my arcade and just check what my businesses are at. I'm pretty sure all of them are, um, pretty well full, so I need to sell at some point. But I don't think there's anyone on who can help me, so... Shut it, Lester, mate. So as a lot of you will probably know, um, the yacht missions are triple money at the moment, and Gerald missions are double money and all this lot. So I might play some of those missions this time for a bit of a change. Because those I've played all those yacht missions, I think there's about six of them, and um, they are actually quite fun, so I think I might replay a couple of those. Or maybe do some contact missions or races, see if I can get some, some good amounts of money with the double and triple money that's on this week. Right, so my stock for this one is full. That's my cocaine. Oh, they're all full. All right. I don't do the forgery anymore because you don't get enough money from that for it to really be worth the time. Uh, I'll buy more supplies for the bunker. Actually, that's almost full there as well. So we lined up for a, a good selling spree. I've got all my all four of my businesses full there, as well as my bunker and my nightclub. I believe is. Oh, I already done that one. My nightclub looks. Decently full as well as so that. 360k, that's not too bad. Right, well to start off with, I think I'm going to play a couple of these uh, yacht missions. Just see how that goes. Um, and then I'll maybe message a couple people and see if I can get one or two people in to help me sell. And then I'll, I'll do a little selling spree, I think, this time. So yeah, all these yacht missions are triple money and RP this week. If you want a full list of all the double and triple money jobs, you can watch the video I uploaded recently listing them all. I'll leave the link to that in the description. Yeah, these are triple this week. I'm not sure, one of them was really bad. There was one where uh, like all the lights go out and there's like a storm and it's, oh, I didn't like that one very much. All right, let's just do the first one here. Fuck you man, 1v1 me kid, I'll fucking one all you. Here we are then ladies and gentlemen, it is a cat fight. Look how the white one has currently got to the white one pinned down and look at that grappling hook from the black cat. And now it's twisted on to, oh, and the white cat is stunned. The black cat pounces on the white cat. Oh, why does it put me in someone else's one? I don't want to do that. No, don't launch it, mate. I don't want to do it with some random person. I don't like doing stuff like that with random people. They always balls it up. I prefer doing it by myself. What the fuck? He's got the same outfit as me. How has he got my outfit in? He's probably a sub. Oh my days, mate. I think the idea is to go up a bit first. <laughs> Alright then, let's do it. Alright, what are we doing then? Stealing that plane there, I think. Alright. Alright, come on, mate. Oh, shit. Bloody hell. Oh, 
Ah, oh, it wasn't meant to do that. Ah, uh, just drop a bunch of water and see what it did. Ah, uh, water remaining. Ah, oh, I don't have any. Ah, uh, right, you need to land in the water to re refill it. Alright, can I pick it up without stopping? Can I keep moving and pick it up? Or? Nah, fuck, I think I need to stop. Yeah, you need to, like, land. There we go. Nice one. Okay, so... I think I remember this one. You need to drop water on the uh, colours that are on fire, I believe. How do you go in? Oh, it's that. Uh... Oh no, that was shit. Come on. Oh, I dropped all of them. Ah, oh, shit. How did I drop all of them? Alright, I need more then. Oh, I thought I would only drop one at a time. I think it's because I held A. Alright. Oh, I'm shit at this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, I think you just tap it. I think I held it and it dropped all of them. <laughs> so, I think you can go in the little uh, camera angle here to see where you drop in the room. There we go, is that it? Yeah, I'm trying, mate. Oh, how did that not do it? Oh, no, it did. Oh, shit. Sure. There we go. Has that done it? Yep. Oh, I'm too low. Come on, go. Yeah, I'm trying my best, okay? There we go. Oh, right, yeah, happy now. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm already doing that, mate. There we go. Sorry, mate. Oh, no, I think that was an enemy, anyway. There we go. Right, one left. I've only got one water, so if I miss, I'll need to go and refill it. Let's try and not miss this one, then. There we go. Yep, got it, mate. Oh, I think I can get this plane discounted now. I think that's what he said. I don't fucking want it anyway. Never been much of a plane guy myself on this game. Alright, there we go. I only got 34k for that. Jesus. So you're telling me normally I would have got like 10k for all that. That's horse shit that is. Ah, oh, for Jesus sake. Yeah, I don't want to play story mode again. Oh my days, mate! This game is fucking pissing me off. Why is this always happening? So nippy. You can just play a mission. This is why I only play in free mode, because every time you fucking play a heist, or a mission or anything, like when you finish it and you're loading back into free mode, I always seem to uh, time out then. Then it kicks you back to story mode, and then you try and go back in online, and then it fucking times out again and then you need to restart. It's so irritating. If you just stay in free mode, none of this bollocks happens. I think I'll just stay in free mode. Alright, now I'll do one of these three three times G2 money and RP on land races. I'll do some of that. Wait, what? Why has it just put me in free mode? I clicked to join races for fuck's sake. Uh, this isn't going too well, is it? For God's sake, why is it so hard to do a couple of missions or races for Jesus sake? <laughs> Yeah, been kicked. Nice one. Right, this is pissing me off. Right, well, I'm the only one in here then. Should I try and get some more people in or what? Yeah, I may as well try and get a few people in. I've been waiting here for like 10 minutes, nobody's joining. 
Like three people have joined, they just left. Did it on my own then, I guess. There's some level two joined a minute ago and he left. Like, mate, why is a level two turning down triple money on something? I'm pretty sure with races you make jack shit money though, unless there's like tons of people. It's like if there was like a full 30 people in this race and I came first, I'd make an absolute packet. But since I'm the only one in it, I doubt I'll make anything. Maybe 20k or something. And that's on triple, you know. Oh, for God's sake. I just got a new controller recently as well. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is something I've built up in my head or if this is an actual thing. But does anyone else ever get this where when, when you're using a controller that's not the usual one that, that you're used to, it just... I don't know, it just something feels different, it just, and you just end up not being able to play very well, and it just, something just doesn't feel right about it. It's the same with using, like, a different monitor to the one that you're used to. Um, I mean, this controller feels quite different, it's the, uh, Elite one, the, uh, the Elite controller, the Series 2 one. Um, so as it feels way different, because the one I had before was just, like, a normal one, and so this one feels a lot, like, bulkier, and it has those paddles underneath, which, like, get in the way of your fingers a bit. I'm still getting used to that, because you can, it has those metal paddles on the bottom, and you can, you can press them, uh, they, they operate, like, the buttons, like, A, X, Y, and B. So you, you press them, and it's just an alternative way of pressing the four buttons, but yeah, they just get in the way of your fingers a bit, so you can't really hold it as tightly because then you'll press the paddles and it just feels a lot chunkier and um, yeah, it just feels like it's pretty much the same thing. I'm not saying it's not good, it is good, I'm just not used to it yet. Once I'm used to this controller, it'll be probably way better than a normal one, but um, I'm really not used to it. I keep accidentally pressing the paddles and jumping out of vehicles and stuff. <laughs> so, um, oh fuck's sake. Jeez, I got 8k for that. Yeah, I would have got two grand for that normally. Oh my god, that is, that is dog shit that is. I mean if there was like 30 people in that race and I won I would have probably made like 40k or something but I mean I was trying to get people in but nobody would stay like two people joined and then they left and then some level 22 joined and then he left and that was it but it is good though I mean I would probably recommend it if you've got the money to spend on something like that. It was uh, about 150 quid. I don't know how much that is in dollars, probably about 200 or something like that. I would probably recommend it if, you, if you're doing all right for money, but if it's, you know, if, if that's quite expensive for you, then it's probably not worth it. There is quite a lot of differences though. Obviously with the normal controller, there's nothing special about that. That's just normal, but um, with this one, it's got like grips on the handle bits at the side and it has um changeable thumbsticks so you can take the thumbsticks out and you can adjust the tightness of the thumbsticks so they can move really loosely or they can be quite um quite tight and you can you can change the actual thumbstick heads and put on different ones you it comes with sort of smooth wider ones and then it has other ones where the one of them is like really tall it has a really high one and then the other one is a sort of dome shaped one with little circular lines around it for grip i've, I've just got the default ones on it at the moment Moment, which are just the same as um, as a normal controller. So there's quite a lot of different customization options. It also has a changeable D-pad as a sort of satellite disc shaped one, or you can replace it with just like a regular a regular cross one. And the little button in the middle that um, changes the three the three lights that come up. So you can uh, change what the paddles do, I think, or you can change what all the buttons do, I believe. If you go on the um, if you go on this here, Xbox accessories, you can um, you can change, see that button there in the middle, you can change that for the different, the different lights will come on, so there'll just be one light, two lights, or all three of them, depending on what setting you're on, or none of them at all. If you have none of them on, so it's all default, then that's just like a default normal controller and the paddles will not work. Um, when it's on, just the top light is on, that's like the default one, so the paddles will you can see here X, A, B, Y, the, um, that's the configuration of the paddles on that. And then for number two, I've got like GTA controls. And then I've got this set in for Overwatch, which has X at the bottom, so it's quicker and easier to reload. The two at the bottom, I find they're easiest to press, probably because I've got fucking long fingers. And the, the two shorter ones at the top, I find they're a bit harder to press. So I, I usually have those as things that I don't need to press as often. But yeah, it's pretty good. And as well, it doesn't have batteries. Um, you know how most normal Xbox controllers have the little 
the little bit at the back that you can slide off and then you it requires batteries this doesn't have that so you can't slide anything off the back and it doesn't take batteries but instead you get a little case thing with the with the controller and that has like a charger thing in it um and when you put the controller in the in the little carrier thing um it will charge it in there who the fuck's this why is he flexing on the side of the road you down there mate take your bike so yeah you, you can you charge it by putting it in the little carrier case thing that you get with it which is quite good constantly having to change batteries is a right pain whereas every time you go off you just put it in the case and the next time you go on they'll be fully charged so um that works pretty good it's pretty irritating having to constantly change batteries and there's a little light that shows up on the controller when it's running low so that's pretty good but um yeah it's it's quite a bit different to a normal controller this and especially in terms of like the customization options but yeah it is pretty good it's i'd say it's probably worth the money considering normal controllers are about 40 50 quid anyway like they're quite expensive as it is so this is like triple the price and i'd say it's that's probably worth it uh, if you've got the money to spend, you know. Uh, I've got a bunch of subs in this lobby now. Yeah, I've been getting quite a few messages here. Alright, well I could maybe invite a few of them to the party. I oh, know they're already in a CEO there. Uh, not to the party, sorry, to my MC. Try and get them to help me sell. Who was it? I think it was... Yeah, it's that... It's that J something. The one who's outside, outside my business there. Yeah, I'll just invite the whole session, fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, that JQ guy who's outside, he's not showing up on here, so I can't invite him. It's probably because he's already in a, in a seat. Oh no, he's just disbanded. Can I invite him now? Ah, oh, I don't know how I fucking do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, quite a few people are trying then. Yeah, I've definitely been made in this lobby. There's quite a few people know who I am in here, which... Usually, I wouldn't like, I find it quite annoying when there's tons of people following me about, but when I'm needing a sale, I don't really mind it. <laughs> it comes in a bit useful. Right, Jesus Christ. Right, my MC's full, holy fuck. Right, definitely should have enough people to help sell it. Right, let's get this one going. I'm not expecting this to go smoothly, though. There's a, there's a lot of people in this lobby, more people than I would usually play with. I never play in lobbies with more than you know, 17, 18 people usually, because the frame rate just gets really annoyingly slow when you get that many people. But you do get a good a good bonus, so... Sorry, mate, I can't. I was, um... I was trying to invite... I was trying to invite that J guy. But, um... It wasn't letting me invite him. I just invited the whole lobby and like, everyone joined. But, um... Yeah, you do get a good uh, a good bonus if there's a bunch of people in the lobby. I think you get 1% of, of what the sale is giving you. So if I'm getting like 378k for this, then I, I believe I'd get about 3.7 grand extra for each player that is in the lobby who is not in my MC. I think that's how it works. So, you know, there's probably going to be at least 10 people who aren't in my MC who are in the lobby. Um, so I should probably get about, about 50k bonus something around that so it's worth doing i suppose but yeah as soon as this lobby starts getting a bit too hectic i'll probably just leave i usually like to keep it quite calm i usually don't like too many people you know like when i'm playing with subscribers or anything i'll usually try and keep it to just you know one or two or three at the most because any more than that it just starts getting a bit too crazy and then other people start joining and start killing me and that oh shit <laughs> <laughs> so I can break my jaw off them, Paul. Yeah, when it gets to the point where there's just too many people in it, that's where I'll leave. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I thought I'd be able to make that shortcut, though. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Uh, there's a lot of oppressors flying about. Uh, they're in my MC, though, but still, I don't like them. Oppressor one, but I'll use mine occasionally when there's somebody using theirs, because it's the only real way to, to counter them. Or if I need to get somewhere really quick and I can't be arse driving, I might use it, but I very seldom use the Oppressor Mark II. I think it's a piece of shit. Pretty well ruined free mode as far as I'm concerned. Well, not ruined it, but gave it a massive kick in the teeth. Oh no, someone's left. Is he... Was he flying a plane? Oh no, he better not have been. Where's... Oh no, there... 
Right, okay, they're both still there. It's really annoying when somebody who's who's flying one of the planes just like lags or leaves <laughs> and their plane will just like plummet to the ground and blow up. Oh god, there's two jets though. Are they both in my they're both in the MC there, I think. Are they on the check? Yeah they are. Christ. Well, at least I'm fairly well protected. <laughs> Doubt anyone will try it on with me when there's and there's a couple of jets. Oh, somebody's put ghost on. Uh, he's got a dunce hat on. That means he's probably somewhat sweaty. Oh, Christ, watch him start trying to attack us. But by all means, attack us, but at least wait till the, till the sale's finished. Right, here we are at the first one now. This music is doing my tits, I know. Turn it on. Yeah, I'm not flying too high. I'm going down, just wait. That's a pretty useful tip there as well, if any of you get annoyed with the uh, the background music on MC sales, I know I do, it does my head in. If you just go on settings here and go on audio and go on music volume and if you turn that all the way all the way off, then you can... Ah, oh, that decade's destroyed my stock for fuck's sake. Yeah, well done. Well done, good for you. You can put that on your CV or something. What's the point in, in that? For God's sake. What a prick. Alright, well I'm just going to leave then to recover my stock. Ugh. Oh, well, I kind of knew that would happen. Especially when you put Ghost on, I kind of knew that would happen. But but yeah, like I was saying, um, if you turn the music volume all the way down, then um, you can do your sales in peace without that irritating bass line going the whole time. <laughs> Does my head in after a while. You can't listen to the radio though. If you have music volume all the way down, then when you when you turn the radio on, um, you can't hear anything. But once the, once you finish selling, you can just put it on again if you need to listen to the radio or whatnot. But yeah, I usually have music off, especially if I'm doing sales because that background music is so irritating. Where are my fucking Doritos? Right. Let's see how many people are in this lobby then. Well, seven team. That's not that bad. Let's see if anyone will join my MC this time. Is anyone gonna join? Right, nobody's joining. Uh, just find another new session. Oh, come on! These loading screens are taking the absolute wee wee. You know what time it is, boys? I've been on this loading screen for like seven minutes. I'm on the clouds. I'm on the clouds. I'm on the clouds. The Harry, ah! Susan Gore, I wonder what else that she had to the strings. She talked to me to cry because I thought she does with seeds. It's all not quite legitimate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mate, are you taking the piss? Back to story mode? Fuck me. Oh, who's this? Why don't we go for a swim, mate? Why is he trying to fight me? He just had his hands up. Come on then, mate. Why don't you do something about it then? Here you go, mate. Right, let's try again for like the fifth time. Try and get online. And the trouble is... I'm on the clouds. I'm on the clouds. I'm on the clouds. I'm still on the clouds. <laughs> this game is taking the piss. It's taking the piss. It's taking the piss. It's taking the fucking piss. I'm about to throw my Xbox out the window. I'm about to sue Rockstar for wasting my time. I'm about to kill myself! Alright, finally I'm in a game. 24 people. It's too many. It's too many people. Well, let's give it a chance. If a bunch of people join my MC, I may as well just sell in it. And just hope for the best that not another decade destroys it. Oh, there we go. One person's joined. Oh, he's level 700. That's decent, though. So at least he kind of knows what he's doing. <laughs> right, is anyone else going to join? Ideally, we need three, otherwise... Because it always gives three vehicles, so... If we could get one more person, that would be perfection itself. Right. Is he gonna come in with me? Yeah. Right, we need someone else though. Come on. 20 people and I can't get one of them to join. 
Although I think there's a couple of new people in uh, that weren't in when I originally invited everyone. So we might yet get some. Ah, yeah, there we go there. Right, finally. Oh no, he's a level 35. What the fuck is this noob doing then? Why is he driving a... Oh, Jesus. Why is he driving a mule truck? Oh, he's a level 2. That's why he's driving a mule truck, I guess. Is he going to try and kill us, or...? Maybe he just wants in. Oh, no, 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 no. I swear, these sly little noobs. Come on, mate, there's no need for that. Ah, oh, stole my kill. I need to get that nib back for that. I need to teach him some manners though. I don't care if he's a level two, all right? He killed me first. All right, I'm not gonna let him in lest he steals my kill again. Come on, mate. You're gonna need to learn consequences for your actions, okay? There you go. Has he just escaped from prison or something? Sorry, mate. It had to be done. Can't have a level two thinking he can go around killing who he pleases. That's for his own good, right? If he's going around thinking he can kill whoever he wants and he's there killing eye level, he's going to find himself getting absolutely clapped. Just discipline him a little bit. There we go. Done my civic duty. Now let's get on my way. So we've got... We have got three of us, but one of them's a level 35. I don't know if I'd trust a level 35 with like 100k worth of stock. I mean, yeah, you may be thinking, oh, well, come on, what can possibly go wrong? All he has to do is drive a truck to some drop-offs. Like, no, you'd be you'd be surprised, all right? Some of these noobs find like ridiculous ways to balls like sales up. Like, I've seen noobs do all kinds of stuff, driving in petrol stations and, and all sorts of stupid shit like that. I mean, I'll, I'll try and get someone else in, and if somebody else joins, then I can get rid of that level 35. Should probably give him a chance, though. I mean, if he if he messed one sale up, maybe let him let him go out of the MC then, but yeah. Fair thing to do is probably give him a, give him a chance, at least. Yeah, we'll give it a go with him. Right, oh no, why did I go to this business? This is the one that's gonna have um, a little bit missing because it got destroyed. Yeah, we've got half a bar missing there. I don't think one bar of supplies would be enough to um, to refill the... Oh, I've already got supplies coming. Alright, cool. So yeah, I think I'll just leave that, let that get full again, sell it at the end. i get rid of that car and all, I don't want that. Let's get the old Akuma. Can never go wrong with that. Wait, okay, let me show you guys a little shortcut I found out. So when I'm going from my meth to my cocaine, right, if you have the same businesses you can do this, right, you go here. Ah, oh, fuck, no, that didn't work. So when you're leaving, you go over this little rock here, this little bit. You go right over this building, and there we go! Bish, bash, bosh, just like that. Just completely cuts out that corner. I did bounce off the building. If you go a bit faster, if you get a better um, bounce off the rocks, you can clear the whole building and, and land straight on the road, but you get the idea. Pretty nifty little shortcut I, I always do when I'm going from my meth to my coke. Right. There we go. Alright, here we go, this one's full. Alright, one last invite to everyone in the lobby, see if we can get one more person. I'm not confident that this will go well with that level 35. How come I can't invite the the one to my... Ah, he's in Los Santos Customs, that's why I can't invite him. God's sake, come on, mate. One eternity later. Ah, <sighs> come on. Alright, I'm just starting it, I don't give a toss. There we go. Right, well, I doubt that level 35 will even do anything, so one of us will probably have to come back and get the third vehicle, if there is one. Oh, as if, mate! As if I'm still on the fucking black screen! What is going on with this game today? Like, I'm sorry. The loading times on this game are normally horse shit, but this today, they are something else with that. Like, fuck me. I literally just went through the other room, talked to my girlfriend for the last, like, seven minutes. Come back, I'm still loading out my business. Like, oh, Christ's sakes, I'm getting sick of this game, man. That's like, this is like the third or fourth time I've restarted during the making of this fucking video. This is ridiculous at this point. I can't do anything. I do that yacht mission and then I disconnect the minute that's finished. I can't do a race because nobody would join. I was just on my own and make like eight grand from it. I can't sell because I've got no fucking friends and no one's joining my MC, and when they finally do, you know, I'm trying to sell, and it fucking won't even load me out of my business. Just get stuck on the black uh, little loading screen. Finally.
Right, 12 people. Here we go. That's good. That's a good amount of people. Perfect. That's just the kind of lobbies I like playing in. You know, you've got enough people for it to not be boring. You know, when you're on your own in a lobby, there's like one person who's not really doing anything. It's pretty boring. So there's still, it's still like an active lobby. There's still actual people, you know, actively doing stuff, you know? But then there's not just there like 29 people, so it's just laggy as fuck. All right, I'm just gonna get on with some crates. I, I think I'm probably just gonna concede defeat there against Rockstar, like. Yeah, well done Rockstar, you win. I'll not make any money from my businesses. I'm sure that's what they want. They'd prefer I buy a short cord rather than make some money from my MC sales, but. All right, go to the vantage point. Will do, mate. Oh! Alright, which one's this? Is this the one at the hotel? I think it is. We have to kill the bodybuilders. I'll oh, see, so here's a little top tip for you guys. If you ever get this mission where you have to go to the vantage point and take out like three people or whatever, what I much prefer doing is, is rather than going to the vantage point, I just go to the, the bit where the people are and just massacre the whole place. Because going to the vantage point takes ages. You know, you have to drive a bit further, usually somewhere else, and then you have to like climb up a bunch of ladders and go up loads of stairs and get into position, it usually takes a while. Whereas if you just roll up to the to the place, like if you're familiar with the missions, you should you should know where the um where the place is. So it's bodybuilders for this one. So that would be Ah, oh, one of them got away. Move lady. That'll be her. And him. God's sake. Die, please. All right, there we go. It's way quicker. You just rock up and just massacre everyone, or not everyone, but just the, the targets at least. It's way easier than just snipe them from further away. And it takes longer to get into the the sniping position. I find it's usually just quicker and easier. Just get straight to the point. Right, come on, get Lester on the phone. I'll get out the way with your shit car, mate. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, will you move? Move. Why is everyone getting in my way today? Oh, I'm just went right past him. No witnesses. Why are you just running down the road? It's not safe. Oh, oh thought I'd make it. Get out of the way. Move. Oh Christ, there's a lot of people in here now. Wrecked, haha. -ha. What is that? Ah, oh, he's killing a lot. Wrecked, haha, -ha, at level 317, he's killing that level 70. Hmm, seems slightly unfair. There we go! Alright, nice one. Alright, I think I'll go and do that business battle though. Alright, let's get my insurgent. Okay. Shut up, Lester, mate. Well, that guy's put ghost on. That wrecked haha guy. <laughs> Damn, he's killing everyone. Level 55s and all sorts. Are they maybe fighting over the business battle, actually? Maybe that was going on. Right, mate. Sorry, but I'm gonna need to take you out there. I want your business shit. Oh, I got him. There we go. I go, what? Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, that's part of the mission. Alright, this is mine now. I think I might sell my nightclub anyway, actually, because that's got a decent amount of stock in it. It's at about 300k, I think. I usually tend to do smaller nightclub sales because then it gives the small van, which is way quicker, and usually the sales are easier. Whereas if you save up tons of stock and then sell it, you get. Like the big truck and you get a way more complicated sail and you have to drive that slow big thing the whole length of the whole bloody map. So I think I'll just do that now. 
Actually, I've got 28 grand in my safe. I'll go get that first. I don't know how I've got 28k in here and I haven't done a popularity mission since I bought my bloody nightclub. <laughs> Alright, 400k, that's decent, that. Should give me the smaller van, but it might give the mule custom. Uh, let's just sell the lot. Ah, oh, shit, I think that guy's on me. Ah, you're an idiot, mate. Ah, oh, yeah, well done, mate. Yeah, he can't snipe, look at him, he can't snipe there. Yeah, on goes Ghost. Yeah, Ghost can't help you, mate. Look at them both running and jumping, trying to not get shot. Oh, a couple of pussies.